Alright, welcome back. Um, so if you've seen my last video about how to put together one of these lower parts kits, I do need to make a quick apology and correction. I had this, after playing with the trigger for a little bit, I noticed it was a little bit off. I took it apart and found that I put this spring on the trigger wrong. I put it in this way, and it should go this way. And I quickly correct myself oops, and put this back together correctly. That's the way the trigger spring should be on the trigger part. The hammer part is fine. This is how it's supposed to go. back together. Sorry about that, but we all make mistakes sometimes, and I'm here correcting. Again, you need to put your selectors lever in your AR-15 before you put trigger assembly in. Well, you need to put the trigger assembly in, then put this in, and then I just like to screw this in so it holds in. You don't actually need to do this part technically yet, but your selector switch will be falling out. And that gets annoying sometimes. It's just the way I like to do it. Again, your sear, that is where that green spring should fit inside. Make sure that you're not torquing that or having it sit on the lip in there. Last time, I wanted to go in this way. Try and help walk that in. These pins can be a bit of a pain sometimes. should have just put it together the right first time anyway. Really doesn't want to catch on the sear. catching on the lip of the spring. There we go. That's what was going on. These triggers seem like they'd be so easy to put in. Sometimes it can just be a hassle. Definitely put ones in a lot easier than this one. They're the exact same ones. Sometimes you just don't want to cooperate. And finally, 
again with this one, you want these pins to ride on the front of that pin that we already put in. Torque it. Get this thing to hold it. Smooth side in first. a lot not more normal now anyway that's my video on how to properly put the trigger in disregard my last video on me doing that I did screw up that one spring however screwing up that one spring could mess up the entire trigger assembly how it works it did actually work in my last video if you watch um, it did actually pass a function test I didn't really notice it until I started messing around with it and noticed man that doesn't really feel like a mil spec trigger but more you know um, anyway please like subscribe and share and if you haven't checked out my last video of how to put this together please do and we'll see you in my next video